For over a century, physics limited train speed through friction and air resistance. China eliminated both. Their new train travels 1,000 kilometers per hour, faster than a Boeing 737. Ground transportation will never be the same. The Friction Barrier Steel wheels grinding against steel rails create friction that converts energy to heat and noise rather than forward motion. At speeds exceeding 400 km per hour, this friction generates enormous forces wearing down both wheels and tracks rapidly, requiring constant maintenance. China's CR-380A reaches 420 km per hour in testing, an impressive speed requiring years of engineering refinement. Its aerodynamic nose, inspired by fighter jet design, cuts through air resistance with precision. Advanced cooling systems using specialized fluids prevent engines from overheating during extended maximum power operation. Yet despite these innovations, the CR-380A has effectively reached the practical speed limit for conventional wheeled trains. Engineers have minimized friction through precision manufacturing and specialized materials, but they cannot eliminate it entirely. The wheels must touch the rails, or the train cannot move. Japanese Precision – The Perfection of Convention Japan's Shinkansen E5 exemplifies the perfection of conventional rail technology. Reaching 320 km per hour commercially, its true achievement lies in reliability rather than raw speed. The average delay across the entire Shinkansen network is merely 18 seconds per year, nearly impossible punctuality given modern rail system complexity. Each component functions with Swiss watch precision. Artificial intelligence detects and prevents problems before they occur. Maintenance is so meticulous that parts are replaced before showing the slightest wear. The Shinkansen's 60-year operation without a single fatal accident represents the safety pinnacle for conventional high-speed rail. Yet even this masterpiece of engineering cannot escape fundamental physics. At speeds above 350 km per hour, wheel rail friction becomes increasingly problematic. The solution requires abandoning wheels entirely. The Air Resistance Problem even if friction could be eliminated, another barrier emerges, atmospheric drag. Italy's Italo Agve demonstrates sophisticated approaches to this challenge reaching 360 km per hour through intelligent aerodynamic design. Unlike traditional trains with locomotives concentrated at the front, the Italo distributes power throughout its entire length, allowing quicker acceleration and better space utilization. Ultra-lightweight materials reduce total mass, translating to lower energy consumption and higher speeds. Advanced suspension eliminates vibrations even at maximum velocity. Yet despite these innovations, air resistance remains insurmountable. At 400 km per hour, approximately 80% of the train's energy fights atmospheric drag rather than propelling passengers forward. To achieve truly revolutionary speeds, engineers needed to eliminate not just friction, but air itself. Magnetic levitation floating above the rails. The solution to friction emerged through magnetic levitation technology. Instead of wheels contacting rails, powerful magnets lift the train completely above specially engineered guideways. In China's electromagnetic suspension system, the train floats just millimeters above tracks, held by electromagnets controlled in real time through advanced electronics. This tiny gap, often less than 10 millimeters, is maintained through constant magnetic force adjustments responding to thousands of calculations every second. System sensors and control units monitor the gap at microsecond intervals, making corrections to keep trains perfectly balanced even during acceleration beyond 600 km per hour. With no wheels, there's no rolling friction, only air resistance remains. Japan's L0 series Maglev demonstrates this technology's potential, having reached 603 km per hour, currently the world record for magnetic levitation trains. Scheduled to enter service in 2027, it will transform travel between Tokyo and Osaka. The journey currently taking 2 hours and 15 minutes on the fastest Shinkansen will be reduced to just 67 minutes. This revolutionary train uses superconducting magnetic levitation maintaining a 10-centimeter gap above guideways without touching anything. Yet even at 600 km per hour, atmospheric drag remains the limiting factor. The Vacuum Tube Breakthrough China's engineers recognized that magnetic levitation solved only half the problem. To reach truly extraordinary speeds, they needed to eliminate air resistance as well. 
Their solution? Place maglev trains inside tubes where air pressure has been dramatically reduced. This principle mirrors what allows spacecraft to travel at extreme velocities. Without air creating drag, acceleration can continue to far higher speeds. The T-Flight maglev operates inside these low-pressure tubes, combining magnetic levitation's frictionless motion with vacuum conditions that eliminate atmospheric drag. The result is unprecedented, speeds reaching 1,000 km per Per hour, surpassing the cruising speed of Boeing 737 aircraft, which typically fly at approximately 885 kilometers per hour. This system could theoretically cover the distance between Beijing and Shanghai in less than two hours, a journey currently requiring 4.5 hours on the world's fastest conventional high-speed trains. Ground transportation suddenly becomes competitive with aviation for distances up to a thousand kilometers, fundamentally redefining intercity travel possibilities. Engineering Lightweight Revolution Achieving these speeds required solving problems far beyond those facing conventional rail designers. To reach extraordinary velocities, every gram counts. Chinese engineers turned to carbon fiber bodies and lightweight superconducting magnets, reducing train mass while maximizing magnetic field strength. The carbon fiber shells flex within safe limits while remaining rigid enough to maintain structural integrity at speeds where atmospheric pressure differences become significant forces. Japan's experimental Shinkansen Alpha X demonstrates similar weight reduction principles through different technology. This 10 car, 320 meter machine reaches 400 100 kilometers per hour in tests, employing monitoring systems analyzing more than 10,000 different data points while traveling. Its most striking feature is an extremely long 22-meter nose designed like a spear tip to pierce through air without resistance. Revolutionary is that it can adjust configuration while moving. Sensors across its surface detect strong winds or pressure changes and automatically adjust position to maintain extreme speeds without losing stability. The emergency braking system can completely stop the train from 400 km per hour in just two minutes, surpassing all world safety standards. The breakthrough test pushing beyond 600. On a humid morning at the Qingdao test site, engineers gathered in the control room, eyes fixed on monitors. The prototype maglev, built with carbon fiber shell and loaded with sensors, waited at the track's far end. Lead engineer Dr. Liu from Southwest Zhao Tong University recalls the tension before the run. The previous month, a resonance issue had forced emergency shutdown at 590 km per hour. After weeks recalibrating coil arrays and refining active damping systems, the team prepared to push beyond 600. The train accelerated with a low, steady hum, gliding above the guideway on a magnetic cushion. Within seconds, the digital speed readout climbed past 600 km per hour. Data streams showed vibration levels holding steady, the carbon fiber body flexing within safe limits. In the control room, a technician shouted as the counter ticked past 605, then 610. The run ended with smooth deceleration, all telemetry in the green. This test confirmed that the combination of magnetic levitation and reduced atmospheric pressure could achieve what conventional technology never could, speeds genuinely competitive with aviation. The Passenger Experience A journey between Beijing and Shanghai by vacuum tube maglev promises experiences fundamentally different from both conventional rail and flying. Instead of long drives to airports and security lines, passengers board in city hearts. The train glides from stations, accelerating with gentle pushes. No jolts, no sudden climbs reminiscent of aircraft takeoff. At full speed, rides are almost silent with barely hints of vibration beneath seats. For for trips under a thousand kilometers, city-to-city -city connections erase hidden hours spent on ground transfers and boarding procedures. Comfort inside matches speed outside, steady pressure, no turbulence, and smoothness that turns high velocity into an afterthought. Environmental Impact Measured by carbon output, differences between maglev and air travel are striking. 
On current test runs, China's maglev trains generate an estimated 10 to 25 grams of CO2 per passenger kilometer. In contrast, short-haul jets on routes like Beijing to Shanghai typically emit between 90 and 130 grams per passenger kilometer. These numbers depend on factors like train occupancy and renewable versus fossil fuel grid mix. But even under conservative assumptions, Maglev's footprint is a fraction of aviation's. As China's grid shifts toward more renewables, the emissions gap will only widen. For nations committed to reducing transportation emissions while maintaining high-speed connectivity, Maglev represents a viable alternative to expanding short-haul aviation. The challenges remaining Vacuum tube maglev promises speeds once reserved for science fiction, but engineering reality is far more complex than test track demonstrations suggest. Building and maintaining near vacuum tunnels hundreds of kilometers long demands unprecedented precision. Each segment, often six meters in diameter, must align within millimeters to prevent leaks that could compromise entire systems. Energy required to sustain low-pressure environments and keep superconducting magnets cold adds layers of cost and complexity. Safety certification for passenger travel at 1,000 km per hour remains undefined, with no published protocols for emergencies or rapid decompression inside sealed tubes. These aren't insurmountable obstacles, but they explain why vacuum tube maglev hasn't immediately replaced conventional high-speed rail. The technology works in controlled test conditions. Scaling it to national networks serving millions of passengers requires solving engineering, regulatory, and economic challenges that will take years to address fully. In 2021, China's maglev prototypes surpassed 600 km per hour on Qingdao and Chengdu test tracks. Engineers achieved this by combining electromagnetic magnetic suspension with lightweight carbon fiber bodies and superconducting magnets, reducing friction and drag to near zero. Public records confirm test speeds above 600 km per hour. Claims of 1,000 km per hour remain limited to controlled laboratory conditions with no independent verification of sustained passenger carrying capability. Trains like the CR380A, Shinkansen E5, and Italo AV represent the perfection of wheeled rail fast, reliable, and efficient within the constraints of steel-on-steel -steel contact and atmospheric drag. But to exceed those constraints required abandoning wheels entirely through magnetic levitation, then eliminating air resistance through vacuum tube technology. China's maglev program stands at the forefront of engineering ambition, setting new benchmarks for speed and sustainability in transportation. The question is no longer whether these trains will replace airplanes for medium distances, but how quickly it will happen. Would you travel at 1,000 km per hour on land? Drop a comment and subscribe for more coverage of transportation innovations reshaping how humanity moves across the planet.